Hi guys, you might be thinking about studying in Oslo, the capital of Norway, but you have heard it's very expensive and you are wondering, can I afford it? Will I have a life there? And the short answer is yes you will, just watch this video. A lot of students are thinking, can I afford to do anything in Oslo? What's your reaction to that? Um, so, in the beginning it seems a bit difficult, but you have to get a, you or a feeling about what's possible. You have to get a feeling about where to shop. There are a lot of supermarkets that are really expensive, but there are markets who are totally affordable. Okay. And uh, alcohol might be interesting for students. Um, you can't go out so often, but you can just um, have parties at home or you can just cook together and that's totally fine. Cooking is the key. Yeah. There are some fresh markets um, in Oslo and then it's like home. It's like, or it's at least like German prices. It's okay. okay. But not wine. Wine is too expensive. Okay. <laughs> you have to improvise and look for first choice food, mm. first price mm. food, flea markets mm. uh, that you can uh, actually buy jackets, shoes at much more affordable price rather than going to town and mm. buying a jacket for 1000 kroners. It's an yeah, yeah. it's a very cool advice flea markets in Oslo because really you don't pay anything and you get a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But what about activities? Uh, what can you do in Oslo that it's not so expensive? Um, you can do a lot of hiking or you can do skiing in the winter time. Do you ski, Julia? Um, I did cross-country skiing. Oh, Julia. Oh, and how did it first run go? Uh, really bad. I had bruises everywhere. And, but I learned that I don't need to stop with the sticks. I can just stop with my, with my bump and then it's okay. Do you have to travel far away to go cross country skiing or hiking or trekking from Oslo? No, it's, okay. in Os it's on Oslo. So from here, we're like in the center of Oslo. You can just take a tram and then you're there in 20 minutes or 30 minutes in Songsvan. Once my friend, she lost her ski. It just fell off and it ran down the mountain. And then a friendly old lady, she picked it up and then we had coffee together, so... <laughs> oh, so you got in touch with us introverted Norwegian on that cross-country skiing trip. Yeah, she okay. explained us what not to do oh, when skiing. Cool. <laughs> so the trick is pretending to lose your pole. You don't have to pretend to, you're gonna lose it. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think uh, Oslo is a very, it's a city uh, where Everything is prepared for for young students, and you can go everywhere and get chill, take a beer from, with your friends, and go to Songsvan, for example, that it's a lake, mm. and go there. There is barbecues, there is cold water if you want to take a bath <laughs> in November. Yeah. So. Have you have you been swimming? <laughs> yes, in in August. Yeah. August. August. Wow. <laughs> How was it? Uh, it was pretty cold. <laughs> okay, all of you students, uh, welcome to Oslo. It's a cool uh, city for students and I'm sure you will have a nice time here. For next time, see you!